I've maybe introduced to a couple of these already. Okay, so um, if you know them already, if you can just bear with me for the next couple mm -hmm. minutes. Um, so we're gonna do is we gotta we can't make them like a hundred percent flat because they're not sunny. When you put lights in, uh, don't cast shadows if you use like a really thin wall. So you gotta think about these walls. I have that space in the middle, so that's where we're gonna make it. So we just describe your uh, cube tool. Just click and drag, and again, remember we can scale this around if we need it later on. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to slice this like four times. Um, anyone remember the name of the tool? <laughs> All right. Uh, anyone remember what menu it's on? Mesh tools. Yeah. It's bottom. Um, so anytime, anytime you're mucking around with the mesh, you're always going to go to mesh tools. All right. So the fact that if you can remember, it's called the edge loop tool. You can wander around the menu so you find it then. Um, so it's kind of like Photoshop, you know, if you, if you know you need to use image adjustments, if you know what's called the levels, you can find it somewhere in the menu. Um, so all I'm going to do is just going to slice this um, four times. Um, so once for the top of the window, once for the bottom, and then one then for each side. Okay. So this here is going to be where we're going to stick our, our window later on. Um, so from there, all we do is change in the face mode. Okay. And just click on that front face. We're just going to have backspace to delete it, and then we're going to click on the one on the other side as well. And we're going to have backspace. So this is where most people are quite happy to leave it as it is, and it'll still work, but it's a bit, it's a bit messy, like it's a bit silly, like it looks not finished. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to fill in these little gaps because if you look, it's one hundred percent hollow in the middle. Um, so the way we do that is we're going to change mode. I don't think we really use this mode that often. If you hold down your right click. Um, normally we've been going, like we went into vertex last week, and we've been going into face. Um, for this one we're going to go into edge, okay, so the edge is just a little blue lines, okay, so you hover over. So this is another way that you can modify your models, is you can actually pull these edges around, and everything has to stay attached. So we're going to do select one edge, um, hold down shift, just select the other one, and we're going to do a thing called a bridge between these, and it's just going to, basically you've got one side of an object and the other side, and it'll just bridge the gap between them. It's fair, fairly self-explanatory. So all we're going to do is go mesh tools, go on the bridge. It's worth the first time just double checking um, your options. Um, just make sure it hasn't got like any like massive divisions. Okay, so see my divisions is set to zero. Um, that that works perfect for me. Okay, I don't need like that many edge loops on it, so I want it set to zero. So you bridge the top, um, you bridge the bottom, sorry, and then you just bridge the top. So it's the same thing. Um, anyone know the shortcut for it now? If it's my last use tool. Right, so yeah, it's just G should do exactly the same. Right. So we get left with um, like two rectangle holes now in our model. And this is the next thing that we need to fix. Um, so we're not going to use a bridge for this one. What we're going to do instead is if you double click on an edge, it'll try and select the whole loop. Okay, so if, I, if we did want to change this window, and I double click there, it would try and get the whole loop around as much as it can. Same there, I can try and grab it. So if I double click there, it knows that it's kind of hollow in the middle. And what we want to do is go mesh and then fill hole. And what fill hole will do is it'll look at all the edges you've selected and it'll try and paint in a new little face in between them all. It's really handy if you mess up your model, um, which I do quite often, okay? So if you find that your model's just got like a random hole in it, um, you can just select all the edges and then go fill hole and then just fill it in feet. So I do is just hit that, you notice it fills in for you, and then just same on the other side. So double click gets me that loop. You could just click and hold shift if you feel more comfortable doing it, and then just mesh fill hole. So that's what we should end up with. Okay, um, so that's kind of the first step, guys. If you feel comfortable doing that, I mean, we can duplicate that. They have another one the same. So if you're in object mode, Command and D will duplicate it. So now we've got two walls that are exactly the same. Um, you can make another one where you've got um, like a, a doorway. Okay, so if I grab those faces there and delete them, then we know all I have to do now is fill that hole there. And then fill that there. And then I can start putting a doorway in. Okay, if it's way too wide, I can go into vertex mode, grab those, and move them over. Okay, so it's be 
kind of being lazy, but it's it's just being a bit more resourceful. So instead of remaking, you know, six or seven walls over and over again, you never do that in a professional studio. You make one wall and then you use that as a template. They make all your loans and stuff. Okay. Um, so what do you guys?